Hello and welcome everybody back to Pokeplay Pokemon Y. I just got caught in a patch of grass in the corner and did not mean to do that. And I already have an Electrike. Anyway, we finally got Bulldoze, uh, a ground type move. Or not Bulldoze, <laughs> we got Disaster, a ground type move, in Bulldoze. Um, I figured I might as well use it on Electrike as an example. Uh, he's ground weak. I, yeah, just, just absolutely wrecked him. So yeah. That's the kind of power Disaster now wields, even though Disaster actually has a fairly low attack, extremely low special attack. Um, it's still pretty good when you've got an attack that hits for the same type of attack bonus. So, um, I bought a few items here or there. Nothing special. You can buy revives now. I've got a few of those just in case. I learned that the level cap is level 32. That is the level my Pokemon can be before I reach the next trainer. And, as a reminder to you guys, I will not, uh, be here to read your guys' live comments. I'm on vacation from this episode up through episode 27 or 28, I can't remember, so... I can't hear you. If I do something stupid, I've done it. There's no going back. I can't fix my mistakes. But for now, I've tried to listen to you guys as much as possible and do what I can. So here, hmm, we got a weird... Weird situation. I do not want to get hit by a fighting attack, that's for sure. But I do really want to hit you with the gyro ball, so we're going to see how it goes. It's probably not going to be that good. I just, I don't know, it just looks so cool. I mean, it, it did enough. The problem is, if I get hit with a fighting attack, it's all over for me. So we are actually going to switch to Hain here. <laughs> Why not? Uh, detect. Failed. Hit him up with that bullet seed. Pew 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 pew. You know, bullet seed is actually surprisingly not awful. Um, I've noticed it's it's got all of its knockouts in like one to two hits. I don't know. Hey, you're on the team, and I'm happy that you are. What else do they have? Curlia. Hmm. Well, they took my leaf guard. Darn. Here we go again. I probably should have put it to sleep, actually, but... Pew Pew! Look at that, though. Like, if I get four hits on Pew Pew, it'll almost knock it out. Two times, not so good, but still half its health. I can't complain. I kind of want to lead with Hain today. I've done so much disaster as of late. And these trainers aren't that tough. Level 21. Pew Pew! Eat it! <laughs> it's so beautiful! <laughs> I don't know why Bullet Seed is as good as it is, but, uh, Hain, you know what? You've entertained me. I'll give you the front spot for now. So, uh, just Pokemon. Why not? Why not? You got Hain there. He also leads if I ever want to capture someone, drop some sleep or something. Team Flare has the Fire Pokemon that a lot of them have. Might not be so good, but... We'll see how it goes. Electrike. Okay, well, this is rough. My flying is weak to his lightning. Well, I guess the grass offsets it. But here I'll put in disaster strictly for the fact. If I went all the way back to Lumio City just to get him a ground type attack, I'm going to use it. That was a lot longer trip than I thought it was going to be. I'm probably closer to looping around getting back to Lumios than doing what I did. But I wanted Disaster to have a true move in his arsenal that badly. Is this what you get? This is what you've brought upon yourself. Just absolutely wrecks him. Do it. Give me another ground type to wreck. It still gets the bulk experience. Uh, I used Bakhtai a little bit. I had to run into some Razor Wind. Oh, Razor Wind, eh? I wish I could talk more about this attack. Um. It is part of my worst attacks of all time video that I continually delay because X and Y came out and I want to learn new things. I don't want to have him learning Razor Wind, but uh, I will talk more about it. it does, it's not that bad at base value, but you have to understand that it used to be way, way worse. And an interesting thing about Razor Wind is they errata it every single generation. They give it some small boost over other generations to make it slightly better, which I find very, very funny. So if he hits me with the fighting move, it'll be bad. He did not. He was dumb and did faint attack. So now I get to bulldoze him and just absolutely wreck him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
just so great to have Disaster taking up the entire screen. Uh, I, I love love him as Steelix. And I don't feel bad about it whatsoever, because I could have a Steelix right now that isn't Disaster if I really wanted one. Could have traded a love disc. So yeah, we are just plowing through, destroying the evil team. I like how... Oh, Oh, I guess you don't want to battle me. There's just regular people here standing around with an evil team also standing around. Halucha! Mi amigo! You are going to be attempted to capture... I don't know what I'm saying. I just want Halucha. Um, it is kind of ridiculous. It's a masked wrestler bird. Uh, it's actually the level 32 Pokemon that I can raise my Pokemon up to to meet the level cap that I've been doing. I'll try and hit you the bold seed. It won't be good. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of like him. He's pretty cool. Mm, yeah, how do you like that, Alucha? I'm going to hit you with five of these weaklings. <laughs> you like how I'm going to get five bullet seeds here where it absolutely matters the least? <laughs> there was a critical hit in there too, apparently. We're gonna try the napping trap. I don't know though, how Lucha's a fighter. We'll see. One, two, three. Apparently not enough of a fighter. Awesome. Napping trap, successful. Oh, and I, I have the best name for him. The problem is I am not sure if I'm spelling this correctly. It's another one of those problems. I will eradicate it and try it again later if I'm not correct. But I'm going to name him after my favorite WWE star, the masked wrestler, Rey Mysterio. I don't know if it's weird, like Mysterio, or if it's actually sp that. See, that sort of looks right, but Mysterio. No, I, I feel like it's I Mysterio. See, here's 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 the moment where you guys can't. Oh, it's a girl. Don't care. It's a. <laughs> Why? I know, I know, I am horrible at not recognizing that my Pokemon are girls. Some people are actually... Whatever. I, if I spell Rey Mysterio wrong, that, that is what it is. I know the actual word mystery is with a Y, but I feel like he doesn't like that. I don't know. She is not... Alright, um, some people are just furious. I saw some just livid comments earlier, people saying like, it's a girl! I can't believe you would effing call it a It was just funny to me. Um, like, okay. Baktai, girl. Joan of Arc, girl. Hain, girl. I will try very hard not to forget it for now. Um, so you guys can calm down. So, another Team Flare battle. What are you gonna bring me, Grunt? Gulpin? Hmm, it's not looking so good for Hain then. But you know who it is looking good for? And I swear. As soon as I decide, oh, it might be fun to bring out Hain. It's just disastrous world. Everything about this just caters to his whim. His whim, yes. <laughs> it is a boy. I was just making sure. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. Can't stop me. I am flawless stainless steel. Amnesia won't save you. Are you kidding me? Special defense? Guess what? Oh, sturdy. Are you a sturdy? Or did I literally just hit you for that much? That's such a shame. I think he has one HP left and it just happens to be how much HP he has left. Gyro Ball might not have been bad either. I don't know. Don't think he's that fast though. I like that girl. Also, I guess I've been calling some Team Flare girls boys. I don't know. They look similar to me except they have little poofs on the sides of their head. Looks like horns to me, which is why I've been making the mistake. But what I love is amongst Team Flare, like, we're also just battling random tourists. Tourist Tomoko. Bringing in the Drifloon, I see. Bullet Seed will not be good here. Let us see. I don't have any Dark. Don't have... Oh, Baktai! By the way, I know a couple episodes back, I was like, oh, does Drifloon have Levitate? Um, it's just a flying type. That was a just silly thing I didn't mention or didn't really... Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to Thundershock him. He's flying, so he's going to get extra Thundershock to the face. Super effective. I dig Bakhtai, I really do. I love his dry skin ability, too. Like, 
Water types just have no chance. I absorb their water, and they're super effective. It's pretty great. So, what else do we got? Joan of Arc still building. Great Pokemon. I just haven't had really a chance to uh, show off. It's... Uh-oh. Sand kicked up. I think uh, here Jiraiya can shine. But yeah, I have, I have not had a chance to show off Joan of Arc's potential. It's kind of why I've got him on my team. Sometimes uh, I know you guys are like, wow, why would you have them on your team for this moment? Some Pokemon I just have on my team because I want them to get experience. Because um, you don't have to battle and you can still... Be a pretty big beneficiary with the experience share. Pulsin, super effective. How do you like that, Hippo? Get hit by the sandstorm, which is annoying. And Pachirisu, I was just talking about you earlier and how you would be sandy if I caught you. Um, but I didn't, so you get owned by Steelix. It's just the perpetuating cycle. I feel really bad, except, no, wait, no, I don't. Not affected. Not buffeted by the sandstorm. Perfect steel. And you're grounded. Does not matter how charming you are. My attack could fall extremely harshly. You will still, oh no. <laughs> Charm did <laughs> drop my attack enough, apparently. Again, his attack is not very high, despite how intimidating he is. But he does have iron defense, okay. Endure is actually useless because of your own sandstorm. You can blame Hippo here because you brought this upon yourself. Endure the hit does not- Oh, it subsided this turn. That stinks. Okay, so I guess that's, uh... That's how we're gonna have to play this game, apparently. Go away. Yay, Jiraiya. Um, approaching that 32 level cap, but... He deserves some fame. I mean, he is my starter. I don't know. I'm actually bonding with my non-starter Pokemon a lot more than my regulars. I don't know if it's just because I have my B team for so long or what. I guess it's the end. I don't know. I kind of wanted to do things, but I guess Geosenge, we are here. We made it through. I guess I'll talk to some people, get some free stuff. Yell at some Team Flare members. Geosenge Town is the town of stones. Uh, great, thank you for singing that. Why would you do that to me? So I see an item here. Um, how, how do I get said item though? Is the real question. Get on my bike. Oh no, I like Geosenge's music. <laughs> Timer ball, which is great. I can't wait until I can actually buy them. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been dowsing. There's a lot of stuff in that grass that you can pick up. I kind of just have to deal with the fact that I don't have it now. Here at the hotel, time to bond some more. <laughs> what? Oh, I think your skip loom is great. People just talk whichever Pokemon is at the front of your party. Nobody's in this corner. Lonely hotel. Oh, uh, we got to talk to Mr. Bonding again. Oh, this is the guy. He's from uh, Kalos Regions, nice and all, but you should really check out my region. We have this town you wouldn't believe. You'll see it in due time. So this guy, he hints, and if you actually talk to him multiple times in a day, he gives you the strange souvenir. Looks like a tribal mask. It's apparently based on a Pokemon from his area. Uh, we're bonding again. I'm just going to pretend that it's not happening. It's kind of the best, best option at this point. I hate you. He just disappears in and out. Um, but yeah, this guy, his strange region, it's kind of hinting that there's going to be a new region pretty soon, or some alternate part of Kalos. There's that train station that doesn't connect to anything. I don't know, there's a lot of speculation that there will be a new region, and it's pretty cool. There's a lot of mysteries in this game, which I really like. Maybe if they're on the dowsing machine, just in case, you never know. My Pokemon are pretty good. I don't think they need to be healed yet. I don't know. I, I hate wasting you guys' time. I guess I'll run through the center. No reason not to. Grab some soft sand, uh, which actually I can give to Steelix. He doesn't have an item anymore. I moved that rock thing I had before. A lot of people tell me I should sort my items. I kind of like them this way because my new stuff is always at the bottom. I don't know. I'll sort them if I ever really need to find something again. So yeah, soft sand increases ground type attacks. Bulldoze will be slightly better. Still dowsing. 
We'll see if I ever end up finding anything. Anybody want to give me something free? Free Everstone, can't argue with that. This is the second crucial part of breeding. It also prevents your Pokemon from evolving. Someone told me I should give an Everstone to Hain so that he always stays a Hoppip. I couldn't do it. He would just be unplayable as Hoppip at the end of the game. But, um... The Everstone, when given to a parent, will always allow them to pass on their nature, which is great when you want an ideal nature and always want to pass it on. Was someone from Team Flare here just now? No. <laughs> you don't need to protect me. I chased a Team Flare grunt here. I just like uh, how they even give you the option. So yeah, even though we saw him clearly go this way into the secret hideout, an ancient artifact? You can't do anything. Pretty uh, uneventful town, really. It's funny I say that, actually. Uh, it won't be uneventful forever. But for now, you know, there's not really much going on. You just kind of loop around and leave. Actually, th yeah, center stones, nothing. How about this town house all the way at the back here? Anything good? Anything free? That's what's important is free stuff. Nope. Nothing free. That's boring. <laughs> Why would you even construct this house? Why would you even choose to live if you do not exist to give me a free thing? Oh, Lucario! What are you doing? It's you again. Hey, you're that trainer from Route 5. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? So, I have two Lucario. Do you know which is the one that has taken a shine to you? Yes, it's that one. They're on the left, clearly. She's trying to give it some high jump kick or something. So we've developed two Lucario, which actually, you know, isn't um, the easiest of tasks. They're pretty tough guys. Luckily, not so tough when they fall asleep. Maybe it's stupid faint. My, uh... Flying type is actually pretty good against this fighting. So we're gonna try hitting them up with some bullet seeds. They're not gonna be good, but you know what? I might as well try. If uh, my skip limb could take out a Lucario, it would be incredible. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I said they're not gonna be good, but I didn't know they were gonna be that bad. <laughs> yes, I, I know it's not effective. We'll drop the leech seed too, why not? Just so that I can say I truly did everything I could in my power to cause this Lucario pain. Yay! Let me see. Sweet. So here's, um... It's kind of rough. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, technically Jack Black would be good hitting through the steel type, although he is also... I'm just trying to look. Nobody really looks super appealing in terms of hitting for massive damage. Disaster can be good. I just need to hope that I do not get hit with a fighting attack in the process. So, uh, fingers crossed he does not wake up. Okay, yeah, faint I am okay with. I can take a faint. Just fingers crossed. Still get to absorb the leech seed, though, which is pretty great. And my defense is super, super high, so I shouldn't be knocked out one hit or anything. Hit it with that bulldoze. No... Uh oh, power up punch, that's what I... Yeah, that... <laughs> wow, his defense is great. <laughs> Took that like a champ. And now I've got Bulldoze, Bulldoze, boosted by the soft sand. Um, once again, it's just Steelix time to dominate. He really has been awesome. I feel like Disaster has earned not only B team, but A team certification. I might always have him on my party at this point. We just went through so much together. So here's Lucario number two. Try and hit me with a power-up punch. My defense is so high. While I bulldoze you. <sniffs> nothing. You got nothing on me. 200 base defense. <sniffs> now, to be fair, now that it has the power-up punch increase attack, I don't want to make any mistakes here. So we switch out to the flying type pain to finish the job with a bullet seed. Because why not? Why would it do power-up punch and then metal sound, is my question. My speed! Or, actually, I think it was special defense. Oh, I thought it was the S. So, I will take this faint. Great. 
I should be able to get him with this bullet seed if I hit three or more times. Come on, bullet seed! Yeah! Skip Loom for the win. You go, girl. I, I'm probably still calling it a him, I realized. Hain, you female you. I don't know. Wants to learn Mega Drain. This is tough. Here's, here's th the tough part. So, we've got Mega Drain, which only does 40, right? We've got Bullet Seed, which is physical, and I'm pretty sure I have higher physical attack than special attack. And if I hit it two times, it's already doing more than the base of Mega Drain. Yes, Mega Drain heals, but I've also got Synthesis to heal and Leech Seed to heal. It's weird. I would almost always want Mega Drain normally, but Bullet Seed is pretty good. I'm going to keep it. Um, I am going to keep old moves. I kind of like his setup right now. I honestly don't know what else I would want to learn for what he does. Not even my ultra-powerful Lucario Doom could stand up to you? No, not even close. It was embarrassing. Who's evolved? What? He evolves already? What? I can't believe this. My heart can't take it. No way. I thought he needed to get like level 32 or something. Check it out. He earned that too with that bullet seed there at the end. It's beautiful. Look how adorable it is. Mahane has finally grown from a little girl to a grown woman. Awesome. Well, that was fast and unexpected. <laughs> now I see why Lucario likes you so much. Because you're awesome and destroy him. So do you remember that I'm the gym leader? Yes, I do remember. When you get past that cave, stop by and say hello. Sweet. So now seems like an appropriate stopping point. Uh, we are finally here to Mirror Way. I have no idea. Oh, you have to go around and go down there and get that item. But yeah, we have uh, done done some good. Oh, I did not mean to leave. I thought this was one of those towns where you can just pass right through. Nope, you gotta do all this. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up. But as always, thank you guys for watching Poke Play, Pokemon Y, and I'll see you again tomorrow with my wicked awesome Jumpluff! I'm gonna stay behind the building. Don't want you to look at me.